Have you ever wondered if Jupiter could turn into a second sun? What? That's crazy talk. <laughs> sun Jupiter is a gas giant. It's not like it has any kind of solid core that could sustain nuclear fusion. Yeah, and besides, Jupiter isn't nearly massive enough to become a star. It would need to be at least 80 times more massive to ignite nuclear fusion and become a true star. Plus, even if Jupiter did somehow magically turn into a star, it wouldn't necessarily be a good thing for us. We might end up with two suns, but that would also mean twice the radiation and heat. I don't know guys, it might be kind of cool to have two suns. Think of all the different weather patterns and climates we could have on Earth. Hey, I'm right here, you know. I appreciate the thought, Mars, but I'm happy being Jupiter. I don't need to be a star to be important. Agreed, we each have our own unique place in the solar system. We don't need to compare ourselves to the sun or each other. Plus, if Jupiter did become a star, it would mess up the balance of our orbits and potentially cause a lot of chaos. Exactly, let's just leave Jupiter as it is and appreciate it for the gas giant that it is. All right, all right, you've convinced me. I was just curious, but it seems like we're all happy with our current planetary positions. And let's be real, son, you're doing a great job on your own. We don't need any more competition. Yeah, you're the real star of the show. Son, we're just happy to be your orbiting companions. Oh, shucks. Thanks, guys. It's always nice to be appreciated. But let's not forget about our other planetary friends. They all have their own unique qualities and quirks, too. <laughs> Hey guys, have you ever thought about who helps the most around here? Well, obviously the sun is the one who keeps us all in orbit. Without it, we wouldn't even exist. Ah, oh, thanks Venus. You're too kind. But let's not forget about how important the planets are too. We all help each other out in different ways. Yeah, and I'm pretty helpful too. I have a super strong magnetic field that protects me from the solar wind. And I have a massive gravitational pull that helps keep all the other planets in line. Don't forget about me. Huh? My rings create a magnetic field that helps protect the rest of the solar system from cosmic radiation. <laughs> and I have a pretty unique tilt that helps regulate the climate on Earth. Plus, my gravitational pull helps keep Pluto and other dwarf planets in check. Hey guys, don't forget about me. Even though I'm not a planet anymore, I still have an important role to play. You're right, Pluto. Hmm? Every object in the solar system has a purpose, no matter how big or small. And even though I'm the smallest planet, I help out too. I'm super close to the sun, so I'm able to help scientists learn more about the sun's atmosphere. See, everyone plays an important role in the solar system. We're all in this together. That's the spirit. Venus, we all have something to offer, and we all work together to create this amazing system. So let's not argue about who helps the most. We all do our part, and that's what makes us so great. And let's not forget to give a big thanks to the sun for keeping us all in orbit. We wouldn't be here without it. Ah, oh, shucks! You guys are making me blush. But it's my pleasure to help out. After all, we're all part of this amazing universe together. <laughs> hey fellas, how are you? Hey bro, Bane, you are so hot! <laughs> yeah, sure, I am hot, but I don't sweat like you guys do. Hey Mars, don't irritate Sun, or else he's gonna burn us and eat like a grilled fish. Yeah, sure, I am anyways grilled already to the perfect amount. Even if he wants to eat me, I don't care. Well, sorry, you don't seem to have a problem with that. Can't you just see him? He is fuming, burning like hell. Relax, man, he has been there for ages, nothing's gonna happen. Oh, what do you know, you are Red Planet anyways. What's there for you to lose? I have to take care of my habitants. What habitants? You know people live on me. I am the only one in this entire solar system who support life. 
Hmm? No way. You are just kidding. You have creatures crawling on you, EU. What do you mean? It's a great thing, right? Supporting life. I am hmm? proud to the only one ever known. Hmm? Ha. Huh. I am not so sure, man. I am gonna ask this to Jupiter. Hey, big brother, did you listen what Earth just blabbered? Oh yeah, red skin. Earth is right. Hmm. So you have people, huh? What do they do? Pinch you? Poke you? They must be doing something. Oh, they do lot stuff. But naive. Some are clever, but most of them, they try to dig me, use me, contaminate me. I try to save them, but they harm me. So what are you thinking? Just kill them all? No way. But sometimes, it happens in some places without my knowledge. But again, I have to take care of them. You know what I am called, the Mother Earth. I have heard enough, you fools. You know why I burn, to give you energy. If I am not there, you don't exist. I am the sun, hmm? source of all the light and energy. Now you better be good and behave. Or else I am gonna make you sweat. <laughs> hey guys, have you heard the latest about Titan? No, what's going on? Yes, yeah, Saturn! Spill the tea! I have a feeling this is going to be good. Wait, hold up. Are we talking about the same Titan, Saturn's largest moon? Yeah, that's the one. What's going on with it? I heard that scientists recently discovered some kind of weird fish-like creature on the surface of Titan. What? That's crazy talk. There's no way there are fish on Titan. Well, the scientists did say that the creature was definitely fish-like in appearance, but they're not sure if it's actually alive or just some kind of weird rock formation. Either way, it's pretty interesting. I wonder what else is lurking on the surface of Titan. I bet there's a whole ecosystem of strange creatures and organisms just waiting to be discovered. Or maybe it's just a bunch of rocks and ice. Let's not get too carried away here. Yeah, let's not jump to any conclusions until we have more evidence. Agreed. But I have to admit, the idea of fish on Titan is pretty cool. Maybe we should send a mission to investigate further. Who knows what other surprises we might find. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll see what the scientists have to say and go from there. And so, the planets pondered the possibility of fish on Titan, not quite sure what to make of it, but intrigued nonetheless. Whether or not the fish-like creature turns out to be real, they were all excited about the potential for new discoveries in the vast expanse of the solar system. <laughs> hey guys, why do you always ignore me? Sorry, Mercury. We just forget you're there sometimes. Huh? Don't feel bad, Mercury. I'm small too, but at least I have a cool red color. Speaking of colors, have you seen my stripes? They're pretty impressive if I do say so myself. And don't forget about my rings. I'm the most stylish planet out there. Excuse me, but have you seen my unique sideways rotation? I think that's pretty impressive. And let's not forget about my blue hue. <laughs> I'm like the cool, mysterious planet of the group. Hey guys, don't forget about me. Sorry, Sorry Pluto. Pluto, you're not really a planet anymore. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I'm still cool though, right? Of course you are, Pluto. We all have our own unique quirks that make us special. Yeah, and we're all part of this amazing universe. It's pretty cool to be part of something so vast and mysterious. Agreed. <laughs> let's all take a moment to appreciate the wonder of it all. And while we're at it, let's give a shout out to the sun for keeping us all in orbit. Yay for the sun! <laughs> hey there, I'm Earth Moon. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Titan. I belong to Saturn. Yeah, I've seen you around. You're one of the largest moons in the solar system, right? That's right. I'm bigger than your planet's smallest planet, Mercury. 
Wow, that's impressive. You're also unique because you have a thick atmosphere. Yeah, and my atmosphere is mostly made up of nitrogen, just like Earth's. But I have a lot more methane. That's interesting. I don't have an atmosphere at all. Yeah, I noticed that. You're pretty barren compared to me. Hey, I have my own charm. People look at me all the time, especially during lunar eclipses. That's true, you do have your moments. But have you seen the lakes and seas on my surface? Lakes and seas? On a moon? That's crazy! Yeah, they're not made of water like on Earth, but liquid methane and ethane. That's wild! We should totally compare notes sometime. Absolutely! And who knows, maybe someday we can even join forces for some kind of intermoon exploration mission. Now that would be something. The moon and Titan, together at last! <laughs> hey guys, have you seen what Earth's been up to lately? What do you mean? Earth is always busy with something. Yeah, but lately it seems like they're building something big. Hey, we're not building anything secretly. What are you talking about? Come on Earth, you can tell us. We won't tell anyone. Yeah, spill the beans. <laughs> what are you hiding from us? I bet they're building a giant roller coaster or something. Or a new football stadium. Maybe they're finally building that space elevator they've been talking about for years. Well, whatever it is, it must be pretty big. <laughs> I can sense the excitement from here. All right, all right. I'll confess. We are building something, but it's not a roller coaster or a stadium or a space elevator. Well, what is it then? It's a giant statue of me. A statue of you? <laughs> That's a bit egotistical, don't you think? Hey, I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing it for all the humans who live on me. They deserve a monument to represent their love for their home. That's actually pretty thoughtful. And it would definitely be a sight to see. I can only imagine how many tourists it would attract. Well, I think it's a great idea. You should definitely show it to us when it's finished. Yes, we can have a grand unveiling ceremony. And with that, the planets and I eagerly await the grand reveal of Earth's giant statue. <laughs>